In this video, I will reveal the new, simple, evergreen automated marketing system that we're using to generate 20 sales calls a day. And this is proof of that. It is a screenshot of our calendar software analytics. And you can see in the last 365 days, we had 7.1 thousand sales calls booked on our calendar. And we're doing this through what we call the self-sustaining funnel, which I'm gonna cover in depth in this video. And it's night and day different from common marketing methods you're familiar with because of how it's able to systematically and ethically manufacture trust with prospects before they book their sales call, leading to more bookings, higher show up rates, higher close rates, and less work on the actual sales call. And as you'll see, it can be managed in house by one person in less than an hour a day. And this is actually a screenshot from our organizational chart. We have a team of about 30 people and you can see our entire marketing department is just one person. And that's because they're leveraging the self-sustaining funnel. The best part is that you don't have to keep tinkering with or changing the system as you scale. We've used it nonstop to generate over $25 million in high ticket sales for our coaching and done for you offers. My name is Ravi Abuvala. You may recognize the name. I'm the guy who builds systems for some of the largest names in our industry. People like Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank, Jeremy Miner from Seventh Level, Jeff Seconder from Zero Percent, Grego Gallagher from Kinobody, Richard Yu from Impact Clients, Razvan Parashiv from Grow Channels, Justin Oglesby and Zach Williams from Conversionly, John Tesh from the John Tesh Radio Show, and a thousand more just like them. Most of the seven and eight figure agencies you see today were at one point my clients or have attended our 300 plus in-person masterminds in Miami, Florida, which this is a screenshot of right here. I've helped build over 1,290 marketing systems in the past four years, optimizing hundreds of offers and generating tens of thousands of qualified sales calls for our clients. Everything I do for myself and my clients centers around efficiency. My goal is to generate the most money with the least amount of team members, complexity, or time required. This is reflected in my own business, where we've generated over $25 million in high ticket sales with less than 30 employees, while I've had the free time to get my pilot license, buy a plane, and take over 24 trips a year with my friends and family. And this is actually me flying the, my plane from San Diego to Miami uh, the day that I bought it. And the truth is that we have officially entered a trust recession. So interpersonal trust is at the lowest it has been in the past 40 years in the United States. Skepticism is at an all-time high. Information is abundant and competition is everywhere. Free consultations, hard selling, fake scarcity, one-way sales funnels, webinars, cold emailing, Facebook groups, and DM ads no longer work. I know because I've spent millions of dollars trying them all. And this is just a few screenshots from our own personal ad accounts. And you can see in this one, it's a Google ad one. We've spent over $2.8 million, 468,000 right here in this Facebook one, 323,000 in this Facebook one, 96,000 in this Facebook one. And I cannot stress this. This is our ad accounts. This is not our client's ad accounts that we're managing ads for. So we've literally spent millions of dollars in ads. And these previous methods that I talk about no longer work mainly because they don't build enough trust before the sales call. This leads to high cost per sales calls, high no-show rates, low close rates, 60 plus minute sales calls, extended out sales cycles, and tens of thousands of dollars in lost deal opportunities. And you may be experiencing some of that right now. This is the old way of client acquisition. And this is when the exposure is at an absolute minimum. You're sending cold emails, you're cold calling people, uh, you're running ads to a direct message and trying to get them on a discovery call after two to three messages back and forth, or you're running ads directly to a calendar or uh, and a sales page that has you know maybe a three minute video on it and you're getting on the phone with people there and all of these people have no trust built with you and so you have a high no-show rate. Those that do show up aren't qualified and the majority of them end up ghosting after that first sales call. And trying to build all the tr this trust that you need to make a sale on or after the sales call typically forces a company to rely on a handful of superstar salespeople. Maybe Maybe even the founders themselves creating a massive bottleneck in the business. 
Think back to every high ticket purchase you've made upwards of $3,000. I can guarantee you decided to purchase that long before you booked the sales call. And Google calls this phenomenon the 7-11-4 rule. After analyzing billions of data points, Google revealed that on average, it takes seven hours of content across 11 touch points in four different locations to turn a prospect into a client. In short, more exposure equals more trust equals more sales. And our own tracking systems confirm this. For every client we've had with a lifetime value greater than $30,000, they've started their journey on YouTube where they opted into a lead magnet, then they read three to four emails, were sent to another YouTube video, checked out our trust pilot page, clicked on a retargeting ad, watched our video sales letter, booked a call, spoke with the salesperson and paid in full. These seem like a random series of events to the untrained eye, but it's not. We've manufactured this journey after analyzing tens of thousands of sales calls to systematically pack our calendar with pre-qualified prospects who show up and trust us buy and then buy again. The solution isn't one single funnel. It isn't how you optimize your advertising campaign and it doesn't require hiring more employees, spending all day in the DMs or posting more content. The solution is the self-sustaining funnel. It's a new kind of marketing system that thrives in today's trustless recession. One that relies more on systems than people and one that can be managed in-house by just one person in less than an hour a day. Since installing the self-sustaining funnel for our own business, I've reduced our marketing team from five to one employee, increased our profit margins from 34% to 50%, and got back a business that serves me and my time instead of consuming it. The self-sustaining funnel systematically manufactures that 7-11-4 rule for all of your prospects, creating a prospect journey that leads to more and higher quality sales calls that are ready to buy, and even more importantly, can be generated while you sleep. Let me show you exactly how it works. So first, let me start with what our old sales process is. And this might be similar to a lot of people watching this video here. I'm not gonna break down this entire section, but I'm gonna show you that our entire sales process used to require a, a video sales letter that we would send people to from top of funnel cold ads or our short form contents. Uh, and we'd run retargeting ads, we'd run DM ads, we had a Facebook group, we had a school group, uh, we would run, uh, we had appointment centers inside of here, we had middle of funnel DM ads. We had all of these different mechanisms working almost like in competition with each other. Um, and we also weren't really knowing what was working. We had dozens of different lead magnets, but they weren't really kind of connected at any point, And it was all very disjointed. Now, compare that to the self-sustaining funnel, which is what we're using today. And this is something unlike anything else I've seen out there. And it kind of, it, it leverages that trust recession we're in right now. And that 7-11-4 rule to build this trust before people get on the sales call. So there's three main areas of any great marketing campaign. You have top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel. And before I dive in those areas, I first want to start with the most important part of the entire self-sustaining funnel, which is what we call foundational copy. Now, this is what you're going to be creating when you are making your self-sustaining funnel because without starting at the foundational copy, everything's going to be disjointed. You're going to be creating random copy and random messaging, and you're going to be creating stuff more because it gets a high click-through rate or because you're getting low cost per leads instead of creating stuff because it's leading to the highest quality sales calls at the lowest cost per acquisition possible. So you're going to sit down and you should decide exactly who your avatar is, what their primary goals are, what their secondary goals are, what their primary complaints are? What's the biggest problem in the industry? What is your, com your competitors looking like in this industry? And then you're going to create a campaign argument, right? So you can actually see me walking through a campaign argument that we have for our clients saying that there's little trust today. Trust is needed for high ticket sales. Most companies aren't even aware of how little people trust them. The higher the price point, the more trust is required. Most sales companies try to build trust on sales call, but that leads to high no-show rates, low close rates, and a process too reliant on one or two people. So you can see that there's a common theme inside of here. And the reason we always start with this messaging piece here is because it's a massive leverage point for the rest of our marketing campaign. And it also creates uh, systemization and consistency through all of our other marketing messages. Now, once we're done with the foundational copy, we want to focus on top of funnel traffic. And this is where you hear a lot of people talking about running ads and, and DM ads and generating clients. And what we've discovered personally is that uh, there are a few different ways to do top of funnel traffic and the best 
uh, systems, best marketing systems use a combination of multiple of them. So first you have collaborations at the top. This is when you are featured in other people's audiences, joint ventures, podcasts, et cetera, et cetera. Below that you have what are known as discovery ads on YouTube. This is part of the real secret sauce around, um, around what we're creating in the self-sustaining funnel here, because it uses a top of funnel ads and disguises sales letters and ads as if they were educational content, really what Facebook ads was, let's say uh, five to six years ago. And then you also have top of funnel short form content. So this is your 60 second reels, shorts, TikToks, et cetera, et cetera. And all of these are being sent to your YouTube channel. Now the, your YouTube channel becomes really the core core essence of the self-sustaining funnel. And this is opposed to what we used to do and what most people are doing online right now is they either don't have some kind of core lead nurturing mechanism or they're using something like video sales letters, which still works today. But what we've learned is that most people are much more guarded. They're less likely to give over their contact information and they wanna kind of be wined and dined a little bit. And it's very expensive to get someone to watch a video sales letter as I'll cover here in a little bit. But if you make your YouTube channel almost like what your video sales letter was, there are dozens of benefits. I'm gonna break down a little bit later and you can actually start creating lead magnets, mini video sales letters inside of your playlist and you can really start racking up that seven plus hours of content that you need to convert total strangers into buyers. You can also leverage other pieces of top of funnel assets like Facebook ads or, or Google ads or YouTube ads or TikTok ads, but we're still gonna be using this uh, YouTube channel as our main lead mechanism. And then on top of the YouTube channel, we're not just relying on that to get people to book a call to speak with us. We also have middle of funnel assets like video sales letters, lead magnets, uh, search traffic that we're going to be running ads to, to send people to our booking page, which is really where a lot of this traffic can uh, converge us on. But then we're going to squeeze out even more people that come from lead magnets and these other assets by installing websites, appointment setters, uh, 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 email automations, e email newsletters, et cetera, et cetera. Then from the booking page, they fill out a qualification questionnaire where they're going to be answering specific questions that only put you on the calendar with the most qualified people. So you can once again, increase your show rate and increase your close rate. Unqualified people go to um, get dis sent to a different page so that they're not going to trigger your pixel fire so that you can make sure that you're optimizing for the most qualified people possible. And then once they book the call, there's a very specific nurture sequence we want to send them through sending them specific pieces of content, not selling them on why you're the best, but selling them on why your unique mechanism is the best method that they can do in order to get the result that they want. Then we actually use a manual qualification process through a software that we've created with ChatGPT in order to make sure that this person is the right fit. We use a scoring calculator to decide, is this person someone we should cancel? Should we mark them as free on the calendar? Uh, should we approve them and have the salesperson uh, meet with them? Should the setter triage them, et cetera, et cetera. And then there is a specific, like I said, a nurture sequence we send them, the salesperson person has a conversation with them before the call. And then if we don't close the deal, we send them a follow-up asset from me personally in order to try to get them to close the deal. Uh, we send the proposals to the people that we do close the deals to. We create a re-offer sequence uh, below that of the people that didn't purchase, but maybe we can give them something to sweet the deal in 30, 60, 90 days. And then of course, there's the onboarding page that we send people to in order to start the client success process from here. And although this may seem like a lot of pieces uh, together, I'm going to cover more in depth each one here momentarily, when you look at this holistically, it becomes a true self-sustaining asset where you just push it one time and it's almost like a flywheel and it starts generating these qualified leads, sales calls, and clients almost on autopilot. Okay. So by now you should start to understand how this self-sustaining funnel is so effective at systemizing that desperately needed content consumption for your prospects and generating more qualified sales calls that show up and buy, especially in today's economy. And that's why today for the first time ever, we're offering to install that same self-sustaining funnel, every single aspect of this entire process done for you in your business. And if you've already heard enough information watching this video right now, and you just simply want to take advantage of this unique opportunity, I recommend going below this video and booking a call to speak with our team now. We're looking for a beta group of coaches, consultants, agencies, course creators, and online service providers who want to work with us one-on-one -on -one to build out the self-sustaining funnel in their business in the next few weeks. 
we are not trying to sell everyone on this call. We have already validated this concept, the self-sustaining funnel for our companies and generated tens of millions of dollars doing it and on our clients' companies. And we want to test it to a larger market. So you have no risk of simply going below this video and booking a call with our team to see about us installing this self-sustaining funnel in your business. Now, for those of you who still need more information, let me explain why I believe the self-sustaining funnel to be the absolute most effective and streamlined method for client acquisition at scale. First and foremost, it creates a moat around your business. More and more of your competitors are simply copy and pasting what you're doing. I can speak that from personal experience, offering bigger and bolder guarantees and creating a race to the bottom in your industry. And why shouldn't they? If your unique selling proposition, i.e. your moats, what separates you from other people, for your business is how much you care for your clients or your client results or how great your product is, your competitors can make that same claim easily. So a lot of people say, my stuff is so amazing and that's why you should work with me, but every single business owner thinks their stuff is amazing. So that's not really a differentiating factor. And let's face it, while I'm sure what you do is unique, it's not uber unique, meaning that it's not totally radically different. Nobody's ever heard of it, especially if you're in the coaching consulting agency, course creator, or online service-based industry, which means that it's very easy for new competitors to enter the market. But if you build a brand, which is what the self-sustaining funnel is the best at doing, you can create a moat that nobody can copy, allowing you to charge more and create your own category to sell from. It's what allowed Kylie Jenner to reach a billion dollars net worth selling makeup. It is what allowed The Rock to reach an $800 million net worth selling tequila. It's what allows Iman Ghazi to sell SMMA coaching and make 40 million plus a year. It's what allows Wes Watson to sell men's coaching and make $25 million a year. These are all incredibly saturated industries, makeup, tequila, SMMA coaching, men's coaching. There's nothing insanely unique about their products or services. They didn't invent something new here, yet they're able to leverage their brands to create generational wealth in a few short years. Attention is the new oil and the self-sustaining funnel is your oil rig. And there's actually a screenshot here from a quote from Alex Ramosi. He said, the longer I do business, the longer I believe in a single truth, brand is greater than everything. And the self-sustaining funnel is how you're able to blend direct response marketing and brand building into one simple funnel. The second thing that we like about it is that you're no longer one band account away from losing it all. I've experienced this multiple times and it literally used to keep me up at night. Here's a screenshot from my Facebook ad account, which is a lifetime restricted on Facebook. I've tried creating new advertising accounts, but they would always shut it down eventually. So I would spin up a new ad account, we'd run it for a few weeks and it eventually get shut down. I then committed to building a much more sustainable, scalable, and leveraged system to acquire clients, which started the journey that three years later would become the self-sustaining funnel. Now I never have to worry about getting shut down on one platform because the self-sustaining funnel makes us so omnipresent. Three, you're much more profitable. It's common in our industry for your cost per acquisition to take up 50% of the total contract value from your clients. And that's because you're forcing your sales calls instead of enabling them. And you can see above, like I talked about, on the 7-11-4 rule. The self-sustaining funnel uses a different type of advertising that generates a much higher return on investment if you even use advertising at all. So like I showed when I was briefly walked through the self-sustaining funnel, you don't even have to use advertising in the self-sustaining funnel. That's just how you're going to really speed up the process, okay? It costs us about 17 cents to get somebody to watch our top of funnel content and 32 cents for them to watch another piece of content within seven days. And here is proof of that inside of our Google ad account. So you can see right here, our average cost per view is about 17 cents. And then there's a stat on YouTube known as earned views. And what this means is how much it costs you for somebody to watch, not that first video that you're running traffic to, but another video on your channel within seven days. And if you did this math here, it's about 32 cents to get them to watch 
two videos of mine on my YouTube channel. And each of my videos is typically 15 to 30 minutes long. So you can see how it's very easy to start stacking up that seven hours of content and building a brand while converting these people into clients. Now compare that to the traditional $15 cost per view for someone to watch your video sales letter, which is realistically more like a $30 cost per view if you factor in your video's 50% play rate. So this is from my personal experience. When we run ads to an opt-in a video sales letter, uh, we're typically paying about $15 cost per lead. And then we have a 50% play rate on that video sales letter page, which means that only 50% of the people that are making to that page are watching that video, which is how you get a $30 cost per video. And up here, I'm talking about 17 cents cost per video view. It also allows for a larger margin of error. I've written over 1,000 video sales letters for myself and my clients, and each one takes hours of painstaking effort without knowing if it will even convert. The self-sustaining funnel relies on foundational copywriting that you can use to create hundreds of mini video sales letters. So like I said before, we start with that foundational copywriting because then you can create so many different assets and video sales letters all and post them on your long form uh, content channels like YouTube. And they're all kind of saying a similar message, but they could have different hooks, uh, different bodies, et cetera, et cetera, and appeal to different peoples. Most people come to YouTube for education and entertainment. So they are more receptive and less guarded to your more salesy content. When you, someone sees an ad, they're so immune to that now that that's why your cost per calls and cost per uh, sales are, are creeping up so much where they come to YouTube. They're used to being educated, entertained, and you can use that as a great opportunity to also sell. Each mini video sales letter can speak to a different selling point of your product or service and can compound each other to ensure seven plus hours of content consumption before your prospect books their sales call. And an example of this is we have a free course on our YouTube channel that's a playlist. And as you can see here, we're getting thousands of views of people watching these. And each one of these is 32 minutes, 23 minutes, 22 minutes, 24 minutes. And they each also uh, touch on a different points of what we offer our clients. So how we optimize our clients offers, how we set up the advertising and marketing strategy, how we optimize the sales process, how we optimize the client success process. And so we're talking about different angles of what our offer covers all in these different mini VSLs, which are all going to appeal to different people. So every second of this video sales letter doesn't have to be perfect that you're creating. This allows you to create, uh, have faster testing and iterations and prevent you from wasting tens of thousands of dollars in ads in the testing phase, because you can very easily throw up the YouTube video and test that first. And then even eventually turn that YouTube video into a video sales letter. You can create multiple lead magnets from assets you already own. We generate roughly 75 leads a day, name, email, phone number, from one-off lead magnets that we created and attached to our YouTube videos. So this is just organically, we get 75 leads a day without any kind of paid advertising. Most of the time, it's just the Google document I use as the script for the YouTube video. So the lead magnet itself is literally just a link to the, the Google document like I'm doing here, walking through in the video. So I'm already creating it and then I can give it away for somebody's name, email, phone number. These leads get hit up by our appointment setting team, uploaded to the advertising platforms as custom audiences and sent emails from our newsletters with roughly 20% of them eventually booking a sales call. There's no ad spend required for this. The next thing that we like about the self-sustaining funnel is it's self-sustaining. We have videos that organically generate thousands of monthly views, which I created two plus years ago. These views become leads, leads then become sales calls and sales calls become clients. For about an hour of work one time, I have something that grows on its own and generates high ticket clients in perpetuity. This is so critical. And one of the key differences between the self-sustaining funnel and Facebook ads or Facebook groups or DM campaigns or even short form content. So for example, when I created this document that I'm sharing with you now, it was about 2.33 AM EST. I woke up and I was like, I have to put this down on paper and share this with you guys. And I took a screenshot of our views in the last 48 hours. And you can see that we have 23,000 views in the last 48 hours. And this is a screenshot. You can see th uh, this shows yesterday, as I put my mouse over this, from 10 to 11 PM, we had 416 views. 
And if I scroll down a little bit further here, you can see that even just in the last 60 minutes, some of the videos that are getting action here were made months, if not years ago. In the last 60 minutes, this video has 46 views. In the last uh, 60 minutes, this video is 25 views. In the last 60 minutes, this video is 30 views. This video was made June 25th, 2022. Uh, this one was made November and it has 25 views here. So you can see that this is literally also the last 60 minutes at 2.33 a.m. EST. When I would typically literally be asleep, I took a screenshot of this analytics to show you how self-sustaining the self-sustaining funnel actually is. And then this is also a screenshot from our Google Analytics dashboard here. And our top content in this period, you can see that this one was created in May of 2023, Jan of 2022, October of 2023, June of 2023, June of 2023, Jan of 2022, March of, of 2022. So somewhere between six and 12 to 18 months, my top contents this month month was created and it's still working in perpetuity without me even having to run ads to most of them. The next reason why we like the self-sustaining funnel is because it has retargeting built into it itself. So thanks to the YouTube algorithm and a few special tricks that we use when we set up the videos uh, themselves, we can create a binge watching experience for our prospects, significantly increasing the likelihood of booking a call and becoming clients. So an example of this is if you were to go to one of our videos uh, that we have here, such as we book 16,000 sales calls using this lead generation system, in the top right, you can see right here, there is another video by me, how I created a hybrid offer to make more sales. And like I talked about earlier, when I showed those analytics, we're paying for someone to watch this video, but then we get someone to watch this video for free after after that. And this video is 27 minutes and that video is 16 minutes and they're all mini video sales letter. On top of that, we've also found that setting up the self-sustaining funnel the way that we set it up significantly increases the return on our ad spend from other channels. So we run a lot of Facebook ads and ads on different channels. And I wanted to show you an example here from our uh, tracking software. This is a client, uh, a prospect that eventually became a client of ours. And I just took a screenshot. You can see this is them opting in to Facebook. So we have an opt-in page here that says opt-in dash meta. And this is them seeing an ad on Facebook and they're opting in, uh, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. They're seeing an ad on Facebook and they're not even opting in. They're clicking on the link for the ad, but they're not opting in. They're not giving us our name, email, phone number. And traditionally, what would happen is they would look us up online. We would have no other assets elsewhere. We weren't following the 7114 rule like most of you watching this video are. And so they don't see anything or they see assets from different websites that you don't own or control, or maybe your competitors, and you lose that lead or you lose that sale. But instead for us, what this person did was they clicked on our, uh, our ad, did an opt-in, went to Google, and then typed from Google went to our website, scaling with systems.com and on scaling with systems.com we embed all of our youtube videos so then that person i'm not going to walk through their whole journey went to our blog watched those videos then they went through case studies went through each case study after another eventually booked a call and became one of our clients another reason why we love this self-sustaining funnel is because you will be ahead of the curve okay this is why you need to take advantage of this right now for better or worse more and more people are giving it away online. Every day, a new guru pops up and makes it their mission to destroy all other gurus. They're uploading entire courses online for free, essentially cutting the knees from under their competition. If it hasn't happened to you yet, it will. Information is democratized. It can be shared by everyone and everyone can access it. So instead of being upset and trying to guard your secrets, leverage the self-sustaining funnel to generate as much of reach as possible while it's still a blue ocean. Before everybody else figures this out and starts doing this, you wanna actually give away all of your best content for free, but you don't just wanna give it away haphazardly. You want to do it in a systematic and methodical manner that leads to more leads, calls, and clients because just posting your best stuff online, I guarantee you is not going to lead you to more leads, calls, and clients. And now you could even be giving away your IP without anything in return. Give away the information, sell the implementation. Okay. Another reason why we love a self-sending funnel, it leverages your best salesperson at your company, which is always going to be you. 
Let's be honest, we have no desire to sit on eight plus sales calls every day, no matter how much money we make from it. But nobody will be able to sell as well as you. Nobody cares as much or has as much expertise, which is why the self-sustaining funnel is so powerful. It turns you into the number one salesperson for the company, but in an infinitely leveraged way. Your salespeople become more like order takers as you publish sales assets that educate your prospects, handle objections, nurture, and sell them. This allows you to hire fewer salespeople and increase your average revenue per employee. We also, if you saw inside of the self-sustaining funnel, use stuff like transfer of trust videos to transfer all that equity that we have created in our prospects as the face of the brand and as the person behind all the videos to our sales team before the sales call. And this is an example of this right here. This is part of that very specific nurture process we have after somebody books a call where I actually have a Zoom video introducing my salesperson where the person's used to watching hundreds of hours of content of me and I'm now transferring that trust over to the salesperson they're gonna be speaking to. Now, like I said before, if you are ready to be the first person in your industry or one of the first people to, to jump on this one of a kind opportunity, do not hesitate, make your move and book a call to speak with our team immediately. We are searching for a beta group of coaches, consultants, course creators, advertising agencies, and online service providers who want us to install the self-sustaining funnel in their business in the coming weeks. We're not hard selling anyone. We only want people who see the value in this new marketing system and want to be one of the first people to leverage it for their industry. Be sure to book a time with our team now. There's absolutely no risk in simply setting up a call to talk about how we can tailor this self-sustaining funnel for your business. Now, for those of you who are interested in the self-sustaining funnel, but still have some questions, let me address some of the concerns you may have about leveraging the self-sustaining funnel in your business. First, isn't organic very slow to scale? Isn't that what this is, just like posting organic content online? Well, the traditional way of posting organic content is slow to scale, but this is not that. We doubled our reach last year by leveraging the self-sustaining funnel. And here's a screenshot from our YouTube platform. This is not including all the other platforms that we more than doubled our reach on, but I'm just talking about YouTube here. You can see that our views in the last 365 days is 95% more than the previous 365 days, okay? And remember, more views is more exposure, and more exposure is more trust, and more trust is more sales calls, and more sales calls is more sales. So you can safely say that if we doubled the amount of views that we had, it had a significant increase in our top and bottom line revenue. We leverage hyper specific targeted audiences, a very specific type of advertising campaign on YouTube, and a specific structure to our videos and their cadence to systematically manufacture those seven hours of content for pennies on the dollar. Once again, a screenshot showing that we're literally getting people to consume our content that have never heard of us before for 17 cents a view, and then we're getting them to watch multiple pieces of content, that binge watching experience for around 33 cents a view. We're also leveraging middle of funnel assets like paid retargeting ads to squeeze the most out of every viewer and be able to generate that consistent 20 sales calls a day average. So this isn't just organic content where you're posting it online, you're giving away everything for free and you're hoping that you're generating sales calls from it. This is a very systematic and methodical way to post amazing content online, bring new eyeballs, fuel that growth of that content uh, through paid advertising, and then squeeze out every every single lead sales call and client from that content through middle of funnel assets like retargeting ads. And middle of funnel assets, when you do it correctly, you can get pennies on the dollar for lead sales calls and clients. So here's an example. These are some middle of funnel campaigns that we're running for uh, our company. We're getting website schedules for $78 a website schedule, which if you're in the B2B high ticket world is incredible. These are qualified sales calls. And then also this is on Google. You can see our cost per conversion is $38 per sales call here as well. So a fraction of what it would be if you tried to force people uh, to book a call from top of funnel. But if you do it this way, it lowers the cost significantly. 
In addition, we leverage other channels and platforms like short form content, Facebook ads, et cetera, et cetera, to fuel this organic growth. So when people see you on other platforms, the self-sustaining funnel encompasses that in. It, it allows for video sales letters, uh, short form content, uh, assets in different channels. But remember, we're making uh, systematically our YouTube becoming our core asset of the self-sustaining funnel. And so when we increase our, let's say, followers on Instagram, we're, we're systematically sending them up to YouTube, which fuels that organic growth. So really it is the best of both worlds. It has all of the content consumption and trust that comes from organic. If you built an organic brand, brand online, everybody knows that people that come from your organic brand that come from YouTube, they are the most amazing clients, the best sales calls. They've been following you for a while. You could be selling them absolute crap and they would still buy it. I'm not saying do that. I'm saying that that is how amazing organic content is. But the problem with organic is that it's very slow to scale, but the self sustaining funnel creates rapid scale of your organic content through paid advertising. Second issue or question that we always get is, isn't this very messy and complex? And the answer is yes and no, it's not messy. Okay. Um, if you were trying to do this on your own and you didn't use a self sustaining funnel and you randomly just posted content and gave away your best stuff online, uh, then yeah, probably it would be very messy. You wouldn't have consistency. You wouldn't have your foundational copy. Uh, you wouldn't have that consistent messaging after they booked the call and that specific nurture sequence, but the self sustaining funnel was created with efficiency in mind. Like I said, at the very beginning of this video, every single thing is connected to another and it has a place. Every piece of content we create and asset we build follows a specific message derived from the foundational aspects of the offer, the avatar, the pain points, the unique selling proposition, their primary goals or secondary goals, what other people are claiming in the marketplace, what are their objections, et cetera, et cetera. And like I said before, this is a screenshot from our foundational copy. We call it the sales copy blueprint in our company. And it literally walks through every, it's about 10 times as long as what the screenshot is here, but it walks through all of this, which allows myself, our marketing person, our media team, anybody else to be able to take this and create content without me being involved. And it'd be consistent with the rest of the messaging on the platform. It's really like an orchestra, right? So each piece of the self-sustaining funnel plays perfectly with the other to create something beautiful. Now, Although it's not messy, it can be complex. I will, one of our values is radical transparency. I'm very honest with you. It can be complex. I'm not going to lie and say that the self sustaining funnel is easy to set it up. If you try to just take a screenshot here and go out and build it on your own, it would take hundreds and hundreds of hours uh, for you to set up and you wouldn't even know if you're doing it correctly, but it is easy to manage once you have it set up, but setting it up does require a science and a system. Okay but you don't want it to be easy to set up. I can't stress this enough. Okay. Everybody that wants to just be like, Oh, let me just create this one thing. And it's just this one ad or this one type of campaign. You don't want that. Okay. If it were easy, everybody else would be doing it and it wouldn't be valuable. For example, any schmuck today can create a Facebook ad and make a guarantee. And that's why you see so many of them today. When I go on my Instagram and Facebook and I'm scrolling, I see literally so many people making the exact same guarantees with the exact same ads and the exact same funnels because the barrier to entry is so low. I mean, for literally $5, you could do that on Facebook. So you don't want it to be so simple that everybody can do it because then this is no longer valuable. The self-sustaining funnel does require an upfront investment, but once it's set up, it's very easy to manage by one person, less than an hour a day, and it pays dividends for years. Another reason that I hear a lot of people hesitant when I talk about the self-sustaining funnel is they ask, isn't it difficult to create content, right? Don't I have to hire this entire media team and invest tens of thousands of dollars in media equipment and spend all my time shooting videos? Look, I've been in this game for four plus years. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can click on oldest and you can see some of the incredibly embarrassing videos that I made back when I had an advertising agency over four years ago. And in my experience, content creation has followed a bell curve. In the beginning, you could get away with just a webcam video and a crappy mic, which is what a lot of these videos here are. Then as more people entered the scene, the production value went way up. Now people are somewhat desensitized to high production quality content. A lot of them equate high quality content with ads now, and they want their content creators to feel more relatable. 
And this is actually a, a little asset I created to show you. Oh, when we first started YouTube, the content quality didn't have to be great because there wasn't a lot of people on the platform when people were figuring it out. Over time, it became very, very saturated. And the people that were making something unique and different, they were creating, spending so much money with all this high quality camera equipment and videos, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, and the production quality went way up. But now people are actually going back down on the other end of that curve because they're, they're, that's not really unique anymore. That's not novel having nice uh, camera. And actually it's even more novel if you look at some of the top uh, YouTubers or content creators you know, when it's much more personal, when it feels like you're letting them into y uh, their personal life without any editing, with just maybe no thumbnail. Um, and those are getting the best views and converting the best. I'm gonna show you that here in a moment. For example, my number one performing piece of content is a Loom video of how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So here's an example. Uh, this is over three years ago. I filmed this. 293,000 views. When I watch this video now, I literally cringe. I don't even have my face on it. It's just that little thing in the bottom left. That's my avatar, which is a photo of me. Looks like when I was in high school. And, and it's me walking through how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, right? Nothing special, fancy about it. Uh, the, I didn't have any audio equipment. You could hear the audio bouncing around in the rooms, yet it has generated hundreds of thousands of views and hundreds of thousands of dollars for our company. Another example not, uh, that, that has nothing to do with me of another low production content that generated over 600 sales calls in three days is this one here by a gentleman named William Brown. So uh, I saw this video and in uh, just a few days, uh, he, created, he created this video. There's no thumbnail, there's no editing on it. It's, if you watch the video, it's like blurry in the background that it, it focuses, blurry in the background focuses, like everything is wrong about this video when it comes to editing. But uh, that video, he made another video a few days later and said, wow, I can't believe it. But that one video generated over 600 sales calls in three days. Okay. Imagine that. I mean, it took this guy 22 minutes with no editing shoot this and he created 600 sales calls in three days. And another example here uh, of one that generated 86,000 views in a few days with only 40,000 subs. So this is another gentleman named Charlie Morgan. And this is literally him sitting almost exactly Sam Oven style, a minute or an hour long video, him drawing. He looks like he has about the same handwriting style as I do on a whiteboard. And uh, he's literally drawing this out. There's no editing, no thumbnail, no nothing. And it brought him 86,000 views. I don't know how many sales calls this brought him, but I almost guarantee you it brought him quite a bit of sales calls. So these videos have no editing and no thumbnails. And we personally at our company get an insane amount of engagement when we post similar casual style videos. So Here's an example of one that we posted about a week ago. And you can see all of these comments right here. It says more videos like this. This is great content. Revy, your content is inspiring and actionable. Bro, this is one of the best videos. Uh, this guy, guy's the man, best program I've invested in. More videos, great content. Uh, glad I, I found you, my friend, great content. So this was totally different than all the other videos that I'm posting. This was not high production quality. Like sure, I am sitting with a nice camera in front of a background, but that's it. There's no thumbnail, there's no uh, editing, there's no special graphics. It's literally me sitting there talking for 21 minutes, okay? So you don't need to invest tens of thousands of dollars into equipment or a media and editing team, although eventually you will want to, right? Because uh, it is nice if you want to build a, be a bigger and better brand, but you don't need that to start. What's more important at first is the messaging and scripts of the content or asset that you're creating, how and when you distribute them, which is all what is uh, covered inside the self-sustaining funnel, right? And we're also not trying to be famous. We're trying to be wealthy. So we don't need our videos to be like Mr. Beast, whose target audience has an attention span of two seconds and requires hundreds of hours of editing per video. As you do scale multiple pieces of content a week, you will want to create some kind of media system like the one that we have that allows me to take about six hours of filming a month and publish over 300 plus pieces of content without my involvement. And this is a screenshot of this uh, system that we have inside of our uh, pipeline or inside of our, our business and what we help install for our clients as well. And you can see these are some of the videos that you will likely see on my YouTube in the coming days. Another kind of objection or concern I hear is, shouldn't I be creating short form contents like reels, shorts, and TikToks? Isn't that what all the, the channels are, are promoting right now? Isn't this what is the kind of the hot thing, creating all these short form pieces of content? Well, 
personally, this was a huge mistake after I started to see success on my YouTube channel. So when I built the self-sustaining funnel and we really started getting traction and we were taking home hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in just pure profit without any paid ads from my self-sustaining funnel, um, everyone was telling me, wow, th that's all really great, but you really need to start creating short form content because the platforms are really promoting the short form content and enter XYZ person here who's making money doing short form content. And I don't have unlimited time in my day. So when I decided to prioritize short form content, I stopped posting so much on YouTube. I went from posting two t videos a week on YouTube to two videos in three months. And here's a screenshot of that kind of weird gap for me. So you can see this is six videos in what is essentially um, three months that we posted uh, content on YouTube. So I went from two a week to three in, um, or I'm sorry, to two in three months, okay? And honestly, we did see a dip in our revenue. I'll be very honest with you. We saw a dip in our revenue when I focused my attention only on short form content. And I stopped following the foundational messaging of our offer. So the avatar, the pain points, the desires, et cetera, et cetera, from that foundational copy sheet. And I, instead, we just started posting whatever would get us more views, right? It was this kind of bad cycle where we started seeing a dip in our revenue. We thought we needed to get more views because that's what we used to do on YouTube. More views equaled more money. So then we would uh, start to create uh, content that wasn't about our avatar, but would maybe get us more views, which just led to more views but not more uh, clients and it just kind of self perpetuated over and over and over and over again. Our best video that we have of short form content today is me talking about where I went to the bathroom in my plane. So this is on TikTok, over a million views, 39,000 likes on it. And it's literally me sitting in my plane talking about where I go to the bathroom, which if you want, you can go look up that video if you want to know where. How many qualified leads for my high ticket B2B business, do you think talking about the bathroom of my airplane got me, right? I'll just let you take a guess. It, it rhymes with hero, okay? Short form content is also terrible for conversions. Remember what I talked about multiple times here. Exposure equals trust, trust equals calls, calls equals sales. And there isn't a lot of exposure in 60 second videos. When I finally was able to start to speak to some of the masters of the short form content world, the people that either are the huge brands that you know in the short form world or the people behind those brands, they explained that short form wasn't the right move for me unless I had a very wide, low ticket business to consumer audience. They suggested that I use my short form content to drive to my long form content, which is what the self-sustaining funnel does, but that still doesn't make sense for most people. Let me explain why. Our average short costs us about $60 and gets us around 3,000 views. If you imagine that 1% of those short views, click the link in our bio to go to our long form content, such as YouTube and the self standing funnel, we're paying $2 for every view of our long form content, right? For, based on these numbers here. And that's really not bad, $2 for a long form content view. But if you add in the fact that a lot of the short form videos aren't targeted to our, our, our target avatar and they're not hyper specific targeted because you're not uh, doing a specific campaign online like you can do with lookalike audiences or YouTube and Google targeting, it requires management of multiple editors. So we have over four editors on our team and it's 13 times the cost per view as what we're getting directly from YouTube, it starts to make less sense. I'm not saying that you don't do short form content. We've had many clients see success taking their short form content and plugging it into the self-sustaining funnel. I'm telling you that we're personally obsessed with efficiency. And for most people, creating short form content to generate high ticket clients is not efficient. You do see short form content in the self-sustaining funnel, but that's only after we've built out the entire conversion mechanism that is our long form content. Everything, once we've built everything else out, then short form just becomes another form of traffic, okay? And here's a screenshot of what I showed in the self-sustaining funnel where we do have top of funnel short form content because it is a great way to get attention, but just short form content without the rest of it uh, put, put together will end you up with a lot of views. Maybe you'll be famous, but you're not gonna be making a lot of money. The next objection I get is like, can I just keep doing what I'm doing? What I'm doing is working. I'm, I'm running ads to a Facebook group, low ticket funnels, uh, you know, webinars, a cold emailing, whatever else it is. And look, if what you're doing is working by all means, please, please, please keep doing it. Never stop something that is working. 
But that is the beauty of the self-sustaining funnel. It works in conjunction with your other client acquisition methods, whether that's DM ads, video sales letters, uh, Facebook groups, cold emails, Instagram shout outs, lead magnets, the self-sustaining funnel will actually increase the effectiveness of these channels, but take it from someone who has made and spent millions of dollars trying all of the methods that you can think about in our industry, you also want to start building a brand through the self-sustaining funnel. The brand is the only thing that will last. It is the only thing in our industry that gives our companies real enterprise value. Like I said before, you're not really inventing anything brand new that nobody's ever heard of before. So you want to build a brand because that becomes the value in of, of itself for the business. Someday, your Facebook ad account will get shut down. You'll have appointment centers quit, your Facebook group will go dead, and you'll be happy that you spent the extra time and money building a brand through the self-sustaining funnel. Because remember, the self-sustaining funnel requires one person to manage and run. And that could be you or it could be somebody else. So even if you lost everything and everything went kaput, you can still manage and run the self-sustaining funnel in just an hour a day by one person. And as I said earlier, the self-sustaining funnel doesn't require you to get up cash now for cash later, which a lot of people uh, do when they're building a brand. So a lot of people, when they're building a brand, they invest a lot of money up front and they wait for the brand to be massive. And then they start kind of taking equity from it. And that's a, a great play the biggest companies in the world do that. I'm not, I'm saying that's not a bad play, but most people in our industry got in this industry for the cash play of it as well because uh, the self-sustaining funnel is really the best of those both worlds. It builds the brand for the long-term play, but it also uh, allows you to liquidate the attention and the cash for the short-term play. So what the self-sustaining funnel really does is you put out more value than you take from the marketplace, which is really what brand building is about, while still taking a lot, okay? And the next question I always get is, isn't it difficult to monetize content, right? Maybe you've created a bunch of content before you consider yourself a content creator. You're watching this video. Like, isn't it hard? Aren't there's people uploading billions of videos uh, to YouTube every single day? Well, if you relied on AdSense sponsorships, low ticket products, it is very hard to monetize content. If you're a coach, consultant, agency owner, course creator, or online service provider with a price point of $2,000 plus, it's almost too easy to make money, okay? I'm gonna explain that in a second. So for us, we've learned that about 2% of our views become leads for our business. So if we post a video and it gets 1,000 views, which is pretty bad for our channel, but let's just say it gets 1,000 views, you'd get around 20 leads or we'd get around 20 leads for that. If you set up the self-sustaining funnel correctly, about 20% of those leads will eventually become sales calls through all those middle of funnel assets, the lead magnets, the retargeting ads, the video sales letters, the appointment setters, the email campaigns, et cetera, et cetera, the automation, about 20% of those people will eventually become sales calls. And because of the method uh, in which the trust was manufactured before the sales call, which is what the self-sustaining funnel is all about, building an unbelievable amount of trust before the sales call, Closing rates using the self-sustaining funnel, what we've seen for ourselves and for our clients are around 35%. That means that for every video that gets a thousand views, you can earn around $7,000. So 1,000 views times a 2% conversion rate times a 20% booking rate times a 35% closing rate. And then times, let's say a $5,000 price points is $7,000 for every 1,000 views that you get. But what's special about the self setting funnel is what if you get a thousand views for $170, right? Imagine the return on investment. If you were getting those thousand views that made you $7,000 for $170. And that's exactly what we're doing inside the self sustaining funnel. And sometimes it's even cheaper than that. If you set it up correctly. Now, these numbers can vary greatly depending on your offer, your price points, how you structure your videos, the middle of funnel and bottom of funnel assets, your sales process, et cetera, et cetera. But still, hopefully, you're seeing that you don't need to become Kylie Jenner to turn this into a real wealth creation and brand building machine. So with all that being said, I would now like to formally invite you to book a call with our team to learn about how we can install the self-sustaining funnel in your business today. We're only looking to work with a handful of coaches, consultants, agencies, course creators, and online service providers who have a price point of $2,000 or greater and who understand how powerful the self-sustaining funnel can be for predictably generating qualified sales calls that show up buy and buy again. I'll spend the rest of my time here explaining how the process works, 
how quickly you can start seeing results and what you'll get when you decide to work with us. So first of all, I cannot stress this enough. There is not just one thing that makes a self-sustaining funnel work. Okay. It's not just about posting more content on YouTube, running YouTube ads, creating a video sales letter, launching retargeting ads, creating a lead magnet, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It is a system. Okay. All of the pieces work together harmoniously like an airplane engine. And even just one missing piece could lead to disaster. It could easily take over a hundred plus hours. Remember, this has taken me four years to perfect this. If you tried to piece together this entire system on your own, not to mention you've never even built it before. So you don't even know what success looks like. This is really my life's work. This is what I've dedicated the past four years of my life to doing, which is almost the entire time I've been in business. And after testing dozens of different types of marketing campaigns, spending millions of dollars on ads and working with a thousand plus clients, we've boiled this process down to an exact science. Second thing that you need to know is that this is not a course. Okay. We will be licensing to you a system that has generated us over $25 million in high ticket sales and helping you install this system in your business. We're going to be inside a private Slack channel with you and your team, answering questions, delivering assets and optimizing campaigns. Our team of experts does most of the heavy lifting for you. We're going to build structure and connect the self-sustaining funnel. We're writing the video sales letters. That's going to convert more of those viewers into uh, leads, calls, and clients. We're going to help you structure your advertising copy, go over the foundational assets. So you have that sales copy blueprint that I talked about earlier, set up that specific type of advertising campaign with that very specific type of, uh, of targeting to make sure you're getting the best views possible for the cheapest costs piecing it all together and then making sure we test it before we go live. Plus for an additional monthly retainer, we can actually edit those videos that you're going to be publishing like on YouTube. We can create your thumbnails and we can even run the ads for you, but that's totally not required. We just know a lot of people want this to be an entire hands-off process. This means that you'll spend less time watching course modules or sitting through two hour group coaching calls and more time getting stuff done, which ultimately means that you'll make fewer mistakes and get your self-sustaining funnel launched faster with our average client having their entire self-sustaining funnel launched launched in 23 days, which for some people may feel like an eternity and to other people who understand how complex this is and how much it takes to build a brand and build a machine that builds a brand 23 days is absolutely nothing, especially for how long we work together. Here's exactly how our process works. First thing we're going to do is we're going to optimize your offer using what we call our golden gap formula, making it irresistible to your market. And this is just an illustration that shows this. Most people, when they come to us, have an offer that's worth two X of what they're charging for it. We're going to put some specific things in place that we've learned after working with over 1300 offers on how to make it eight X uh, as valuable. And that's the first thing that we do because you'll be able to charge higher prices, close more sales calls and collect more cash up front, all the while making your services simpler and cheaper to fulfill, which ultimately means that you'll take home more money with less work and start to separate yourself from your competition. We do this first because it lays the foundation for every other step and allows us to scale to a much larger, much colder market. The second thing we're going to do is help you create your sales copy blueprints. And this is that thing that I was telling you earlier, that's going to be a snapshot of your entire marketing message for your entire com company. The entire campaign argument, the thesis of why you even exist and why people should work with you is going to be in one simple, easy to consume document. And ours is about, like I said, 10 times as long as this, and we're going to help you build you yours. This is a one pager that we can pull from to enter the conversation in your prospect's mind and create persuasive messaging that slices through the noise in your marketplace and creates consistency across all of your channels, which ultimately means that you'll increase the efficiency of your top of funnel, minimal funnel and bottom of funnel messaging that'll lead to more clicks, leads, calls and sales with less investment and efforts. The sales copy blueprint, getting this thing right is so slept on in our industry. Everyone just wants to throw up an ad and run it to a sales page and they're wondering why it's so expensive. But this is that one small leverage point where you put a little bit of work up front and it can pay you dividends. It can go take a campaign from a two X return on investment to a 20 or a 30 X return on investment by getting this right. And the best part of the sales copy blueprint is that it's easily the most valuable asset in your business, right? The self-sustaining funnel is going to be very out, uh, va valuable when we put 
put in your business. But the sales copy blueprint, I would argue is even more valuable. You can hand it over to any future hires or advertising agencies you work with, and they'll be able to create hyper specific messaging in minutes. So when you're able to literally just say, uh, Hey, I want to hire you as an ad agency or as a copywriter or as my marketing manager, here's everything about our avatar, what we sell, what their pain points are, et cetera, et cetera. You've now cut the learning phase of their ramp up period by like 99%. Okay. And we're actually going to show you how we use that uh, document, that sales copy blueprint with ChatGPT to create an unlimited supply of new advertising copy, social media content, email campaigns, and marketing assets. So every time I use ChatGPT, I start the message with, here's everything you know about our company. And I copy and paste it in. And then I say, now I need you to do X, Y, and Z. And so it gives it all the content it needs in order to create everything that I need from it. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that. The next thing we'll do is build and install the self-sustaining funnel for you. This custom automated end to end marketing system. So everything from a total stranger to a paying client is meticulously crafted to create a prospect journey that manufacture trusts and turns total strangers into qualified, ready to buy appointments on your calendar. And every self-sustaining funnel is different. So the, what I showed you earlier that charts, that is what generally a self-sustaining funnel looks like, but our team of experts is going to look at what traffic channels you're already using, what's converting assets you already have in place. And then we're going to use that combined with the systems that we've made in the self-sustaining funnel to create a custom tailored marketing system that uses a high degree of efficiency and leverage. And because the self-sustaining funnel centers around Google's 7114 rule, we'll be able to drastically increase your volume of qualified booked calls while building a system that relies less on you or your team. And the best part is that you'll no longer have to sell on your sales calls. It'll become more of an order taking process. All of our salespeople always say that this is the best offer they've ever worked because it's so easy to sell because people come in already so nurtured. So if you're the kind of person that really doesn't like to hard sell on sales calls and don't really find themselves as a great salesperson, the self-sustaining funnel takes care of all of that for you. Because like I showed you before, even the most decent offer and even the most okay salesperson can thrive with a self-sustaining funnel because of all of that trust that's built up beforehand. And this isn't like a coaching program or course. Okay. We're not just going to overwhelm you with information and leave you to figure it out on your own. Our highly trained team of experts who have worked with thousands of marketing systems does most of the heavy lifting for you. And this is as much for your benefit as is for ours. After building thousands of marketing campaigns, we are way better at this than any of our clients. We are able to virtually guarantee success because we do all of the most impactful and difficult work for you. We'll also license and help install our content creation systems so that you can generate hundreds of pieces of content from just a few hours of work. So that's what I showed you earlier, that media pipeline, that system that we have literally put tens of thousands of pieces of content from our uh, media systems through and optimized it. We're going to help license it and put it inside of your business. In addition, once we have the self-sustaining funnel up and running, we'll continue to work with you one-on-one -on -one to refine the system, optimizing it when you, with you weekly to get a higher and higher return on your investment. We'll listen to your sales calls and give you feedback, review your campaign's performance and make suggestions, and even show you how to delegate the management of it to somebody else so you can remove yourself entirely like I am in our business. This means that you'll never be alone in this entire process. No more relying on naive team members or 70 plus hour work weeks to run your business. We are just one Slack message away from solving any bottlenecks or problems that you may be experiencing. But that is not all. Once we solve your client acquisition problem, you'll very likely run into a service delivery problem. And this is why we'll work with you to install our client conveyor service delivery system. The client conveyor is a system that we created that takes newly closed deals and turns them into raving, satisfied referral giving clients in the most streamlined manner possible. Remember, we're all about efficiency. We'll help you create a service roadmap, optimize service delivery, find team members to replace you and launch backend offers. This means that you'll be able to productize your offers and minimize custom work, allowing you to retain higher profit margins as you scale seriously. And this is just an example and illustration that most people in our industry, they're just selling their own experience. Whether you're running an advertising agency, an SEO company, or a coach, a consultant, a course creator, it's typically just your experience that you're selling. But in order to scale, you need to package that experience into a one one off product that you can sell with a specific transformation. And that's exactly what we'll help you do on top of that. After we've worked with you to solve your client acquisition and client fulfillments, 
your final bottleneck will be in operations. I know this from firsthand experience because it wasn't too long ago that I had to actually shut down the entire self-sustaining funnel because we didn't have the capacity to take on new clients. This cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars as I scrambled to figure out how building, uh, how to build hiring systems, manage employees, and create attractive compensation packages. But you won't have to experience any of that. We're going to show you how we structure our project management software, meetings, organizational charts, and KPIs for the highest dollar per employee possible with the least amount of headache or complexity. Finally, although we can get a lot done from at home in our pajamas, there is just something about getting in a room full of high level entrepreneurs that can unlock levels of growth that you didn't even know existed. Depending on which package you choose, you'll get access to a one of a kind mastermind in places like Medellin, Vail, and Cabo with less learning and more networking with activities like ATVs, snowmobiles, and whitewater rafting. And this is actually a screenshot from one of the most recent ones we had in Vail, Colorado, and we all went snowboarding for the day, right? We spent a few days together, mastermind, network, learned. I had my family office and financial advisors come out there and teach. And then we spent the entire Saturday going out there and shredding the mountains and it was snowing. It was such an incredible and amazing day. And this means that you'll finally be a part of a mastermind where you can not only learn and grow, but also have fun and build relationships that last a lifetime. And we're really barely even scratching the surface of what we can do for you. We don't see this as a one and done thing. We follow a framework that we call partnership without percentages, which is where we treat your business as if it were our own. If an emergency arises or you have pressing questions that require immediate answers, we've got your back. You'll have access to a private Slack channel where our entire client success team is dedicated to seeing you succeed. Your goals become their goals, your challenges become their challenges, and their job is to solve those challenges using our battle-tested proven systems. Imagine this scenario. Your marketing campaign isn't delivering the results you expected. Typically, if you were doing this alone, you'd be stuck trying to guess your way to success, but not with us. You can simply ping our team of experts in your private Slack channel if we haven't caught the problem first, and we'll make adjustments on it based on what we believe to be the problem. And our client success team isn't just a, former, a bunch of former clients who regurgitate what I say, which is what a lot of people do. They just hire one of their previous clients to be their client success manager, uh, which seems like a great idea, except for those people are only limited, once again, by the founder's knowledge or expertise. But that's not the case in our team. Each of our client success managers has scaled their own business to either multiple six or seven figures and goes through a rigorous training and feedback process to ensure our clients get the best help possible. The best part is that there is no additional cost for this level of support. There's no equity you have to give up and there's no nagging monthly retainer. The only catch is that due to the beta method of how we're launching the self-sustaining funnel, the done for you nature of the work that we do and the intimate one-on-one -on -one support we provide, we can only work with a certain number of clients a month. And we only work with coaches, consultants, agencies, course creators, and online service providers with a price point greater than $2,000 who are generating at least $5,000 a month. So if that is you, I invite you to go below this video now and book a call to learn about how we can install the self-sustaining funnel in your business today. While booking the call, you'll answer a few questions that allow us to do some research in your business and come to our call prepared to show you the next steps for implementing our proven system. After you book your call, we'll also send you a link to our website that has over 1,000 case studies, client wins, and video testimonials proving that the self-sustaining funnel works. So if you're tired of your business not generating the freedom and revenue you know it's capable of, go below this video and book a call to speak with our team. We can only work with a limited number of clients on a month-to-month -month basis, so do not wait. Book a call so we can go more in-depth on what the self-sustaining funnel would look like in your business today.